Bird Life South Africa has been based in Blairgowrie in Randburg until fairly recently. Unfortunately, the old office, um, Lewis House, didn't meet all our needs, mainly because it had inadequate space. So BirdLife South Africa's goal, literally in the medium term, was to acquire a new office. Um, a big challenge, um, particularly considering that a significant amount of money would need to be raised to acquire that new office. Our um, executive board made a decision to acquire an office in the Greater Rosebank area, being close to the Gautrang station, being close to Santon and Rosebank where many of our meetings took place, seemed to make sense. So we started to um, source the money, to raise the money. We initially raised a few million rand, started looking at properties, um, they were prohibitively expensive, we thought. Um, and then literally out of the blue, um, we received a very welcome email from Pamela Isdal. Her and her husband Neville had very kindly offered to sponsor the significant proportion of the costs for the purchase and renovation of a new office, which they would like to be called Isdal House. Um, they'd lived in Johannesburg, they were very, they're very fond of South Africa, and uh, they wanted to leave a sort of a living legacy, a physical legacy in um, Johannesburg, and this seemed most appropriate, being, um, both being um, very committed conservationists. So our search for a new office began in earnest, and we soon found this ideal property located on Jan Smuts Drive in Dunkeld West in Rosebank. So the, the um, building, unfortunately, was in a, in a state of disrepair, needed extensive renovations. Um, so we asked our chairman at that stage, Vernon Head, um, to do, uh, draw up some plans. He's a well-known Cape Town architect. He drew up plans for us to transform what was initially described as an ugly duckling into a beautiful building. Um, Andy Featherston, um, chairman of Witz Bird Club and a, and a, a senior um, quantity surveyor, offered to do the project management for this important project. And the work on the building then started in January um, 2015. It took about six months to complete the work. Um, but in order to reduce the costs for this project, we decided to contact various suppliers of products. And you know, really um, very appreciative of the fact that every single company and individual we asked for a donation came to the party and provide us with the, the necessary materials and support that we needed. Being a conservation organization, we decided to make the building as green as possible. And this included using um, environmentally friendly paints, um, using dual flush systems on the toilets, using energy saving light bulbs. We also have rainwater harvesting tanks. Uh, with time, we'll be putting up solar panels. We're even going to have an electric car charging station in our parking lot. So a lot of effort went into greening the building. Very excitingly, we developed a massive indigenous garden um, and uh, with the assistance of um, landscape architects um, and botanists and with donations from a range of indigenous nurseries in Gauteng, we were able to plant three and a half thousand indigenous plants of about 230 species. And these plants are all grouped into different habitats. Um, drip irrigation is used in only some of these areas. Most of it is really independent of water. And the garden has flourished within less than a year just shows how easy it is to garden in Gauteng, firstly, and how important it is to garden with indigenous plants. So the garden has um, really been designed as a water-wise, bird-friendly, indigenous garden, and we'd like to use it as a model for other gardens in Joburg and, and in the Greater Gauteng. Isdal House is also an, a gallery, an art gallery, and we have art on loan from the Everard Reed Gallery and from Charles Gregg Jewellers. So the walls are adorned with beautiful paintings um, of birds. And outside we have beautiful bronze uh, sculptures of uh, birds. And these are all for sale. So we have, we've actually sold a few. BirdLife um, South Africa benefits uh, from the proceeds. Isdal House also has a shop. We call it Shop for the Birds. And uh, at the shop one can purchase books, bird feeders, bird food, um, notepads, you know, stickers, and a whole range of other products. And again, the proceeds go to BirdLife South Africa and bird conservation.